If you have ever been to Kauai, or even just Googled it, I'm sure one of the first images that comes to mind is the Nepali coast. You may have also seen the Nepali coast in the very beginning helicopter scene of the very first Jurassic Park movie. There are only three ways that you can visit this gorgeous location. You can either hike in, you can see it from the air from either a helicopter or plane, or you can see it from a boat. After a bunch of research, we settled on a company called Nepali Craze for their Zodiac ride out to the Nepali coast. We started off our tour in pretty much the best way possible when we found ourselves in the middle of a small pod of spinner dolphins. After hanging out with the dolphins for a little bit, our awesome Captain Dane realized that the whale watching catamaran had moved about a half a mile away, so he hit the gas and we chased them down. They had found a massive pod of dolphins. Luckily with our small nimble zodiac, we were able to get right up in the action. One of the funny things that Dane told us is that at this time in the morning, these dolphins are probably still sleeping. Their brain has a kind of built-in autopilot function that has them popping up for air and swimming along. This is probably why we weren't seeing a bunch of big aerial spins that this species of dolphin is known to do. We had booked our tour when Kauai was having particularly turbulent seas. The island was experiencing both a northern swell and a southern swell, so our ride was going to be a little bit bumpy today. Luckily, it wasn't Dane's first trip around the block and he really knew how to drive this boat. At one point, Dane spotted a small waterfall trickling off the edge of a cliff and he asked if we wanted to drive under it. I thought he was joking at first because it was pretty close to the rocks, but sure enough, in we went. This led us to what was probably one of the most crazy experiences we've ever had on the ocean. There is this sea cave that on calmer days Dane will actually drive in, but today the sea was angry. If you watch the pink marks appear and disappear on the walls, you can see just how much we were rising and falling. It was so beautiful and thrilling all at the same time. And the craziest thing is, if you look at Dane's face, he doesn't even look like he's breaking a sweat. A large catamaran had been watching us from a distance as we backed into the cave. They wanted to give it a try, but they couldn't come anywhere close to what we did. The GoPro stabilization did a great job of smoothing out this footage because it was super choppy this day. Just as a pro tip, if you want a smoother ride, sit more towards the back of the boat. We were here for an adventure, so we were on the very front of the boat. There were definitely a couple moments where we felt like we were in a rodeo. One of the coolest things about the route that this tour takes is that as you go along, the peaks of the Nepali coast get higher and higher. You start off around 400 feet, but by this point in the tour, they had maxed out at a towering 4,000 plus feet. We had reached the halfway point in our tour, now it was time to turn around and head back. The good thing about this is that we are now traveling in the same direction as the waves. There was a couple of points where we actually went up and over a wave and we kind of surfed on the face of it in the Zodiac. It was really awesome. Luck must have been really on our side this day because on our way back we saw yet another pod of dolphins. Dane was awesome and he slowed the boat down to a speed where I could hang over the side and put the GoPro underwater. This is probably some of my favorite GoPro footage that I've gotten to date. One thing that never ceases to amaze me is that not only are these dolphins not afraid of the Zodiac, but it appears that they almost see it as some sort of a friend. They completely surrounded us and they were swimming around, doing huge leaps and putting on a great show for us. And with that, our tour had come to an end. We'd like to send a huge thank you out to Dane and Nepali Craze. Hopefully next time we're out in Kauai, the ocean will be a little bit more calm and we can get inside that big sea cave. 
If you enjoyed this adventure, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Follow us over on Instagram, at thatadventurelife underscore official, and for all the information about Nepali Craze and how you can book a tour for yourself, head on over to our blog at thatadventurelife.com.